Baruch HaMaboyim, thank you for coming. Again, we are in the Gematria series, and we are on lecture number 16, um, and we're dealing with the number 14 in the Hebrew uh, alpha and the Hebrew numbers. Um, the number 14, Arba Aser, uh, connects with many different themes. Uh, the number 14 is spelled Yud Dalit, uh, which spells the word Yad, which is hand. Backwards, it spells the word Dai, which is enough. And if you double the letters, Yud Dalid, Yud Dalid, it spells the word Yedid, which means the name friend. Our hand connects perfectly with the number 14. There are 14 joints in a hand. Two hands, therefore, have 28 joints, the gematria, the numerical value of the word koach, meaning strength. When two people shake hands in friendship, it forms the word yedid, friend, twice the word yad. When we shake hands, it makes no difference whether you're right-handed or left-handed. We do so with our right hand. The right hand alludes to chesed, which is kindness. And when two people come together in a spirit of friendship, they can achieve much more than they can individually. When God created the universe, it continued to grow until he said the word die, which means enough. So the letters Shin and Dalad Yud uh, spell one of God's names, again, that we don't pronounce completely unless we're in prayer, so we just say Shakai. Now, we find these letters, Shin, Dalad Yud, written on our mezuzah that we put on the doorposts of our homes, which is an acronym from Shomer Dalit Yisrael, he who guards the doors of Israel. It's in our alarm system. God watches over us. Rebbe Kiva said that the most important verse in the Torah is V'yahavta L'Riach Kamocha that you should love your friend, your neighbor, as yourself. The concept is so important that the Arizal said that before one begins his morning prayers, he should articulate the words. That I accept upon myself the positive commandment to love my neighbor as myself. I always wondered why, were there, why there are more negative commandments, 365, more than the positive commandments that are 248, together forming 613 commandments, Taryag Mitzvahs. If you count these numbers across, actually, they both equal the same thing, 14. 3, 6, and 5 is 14. 2, 4, and 8, 14. So they both allude to Yad, hand, the Gematria, again, 14. The right hand alluding to Chesed, kindness, and the left hand alluding to Gevura, severity. Together they form the word koach, strength. Using both the attributes of chesed, kindness, and gevura, severity, to form the attribute of teferet, which is beauty, knowing when to be kind and when to be tough. Now the gamati of the word koach is 28, which connects with the giving of the Torah at Mount Sinai. There the Jewish nation were given the Ten Commandments, they heard the first two commandments directly from God, and the next eight were transmitted to Moshe, who then gave them over to the nation. Two and eight. There are 27 bones in the human hand, and when two people join hands together, 27 plus 27 is 54, which connects to the 54 sedras, portions in the written Torah. As we mentioned in the previous lecture, five and four, equals nine, the numerical value of the word emet, truth. So when two people shaking, are, are shaking hands, neither one has the upper hand, and they are both equal, which connects to the Torah of truth. Number 14 is also symbolizes the Yad HaChazaka, the strong hand of Basia, Paro's daughter, who miraculously was able to reach Moshe's cradle as it was floating in the Nile even though it was well out of her reach. It is also a symbol of Moshe Rabbeinu, or Moses, our teacher, who was the recipient of the Torah from God. Now there's a Sefer Yad Chazaka, the Sefer of the Strong Hand, is also the subtitle of what we call the Mishnah Torah, a code of Jewish law written by the Rambam, Moshe Ma'inus. The Mishnah Torah is regarded as the Rambam's magnus opus, the work consisting of 14 books, the Rambam also wrote a book titled Sefer HaMitzvot, the Book of Commandments. 
This book sets forth a series of 14 roots, which are general principles for identifying, enumerating, and classifying the Torah mitzvot. He also wrote a book entitled The Guide for the Perplexed. In this he wrote, this book he informs us that he has divided all the commandments into 14 separate classes. Yaakov Avinu, Yaakov our father, left his parents' house in Be'er Sheva at the age of 63. He spent the next 14 years in the yeshiva of Aver, the great grandson of shame, preparing himself for the challenge of living with the evil Lovan, his uncle, and father-in-law. He worked 14 years for Lavan as payment for marrying Leah and Rachel, seven years for each. In addition, he would marry Billa and Zilpah, the maidservants of both Leah and Rachel. The first letter of these four women's names, Billa, Rachel, Zilpah, and Leah, if you take the first letter, spells out the acronym for the word Barzel, which is iron. Their children would form the 12 tribes of Israel who would go down to Egypt into the Kur Barzel, into the Iron Crucible, where they would be formed into one unified nation. The word Barzel added across is 239. 2 plus 3 plus 9 is 14. Rachel was barren for 14 years before she gave birth to two sons. In total, there would be 14 of her descendants who would go down to Egypt. At a Sheva Brachos, when a couple gets married, and we have the week of joy where we celebrate with them, there are seven blessings at each of the two meals each day. Again, two times seven, 14. Now seven times 14, which they do it for the whole week, is 98. These blessings act as a protection against the 98 admonitions found in the Sedra of Kisabo. The Rebbe Ramash in his gloss to the Haggadah explains the Mishnah at the beginning of the Tractate of Sochim, where it says, on the evening of the 14th, one searches for Hamas by the light of a lamp. 14 is the aspect of Midot, the emotional attributes, corresponding to the seven Midots, the seven traits of the divine soul, and the seven Midots, the traits of the animal soul. Here one needs to search for Hamas. The search must be by the light of a lamp, as it states in Mishle, the soul of man is a lamp of God. Now even though Passover begins on the night of the 15th of Nisan, the Paschal offering, the Korban Pesach, was brought on the 14th in the afternoon. At the Seder, Pesach Seder, we have four cups of wine, three matzahs, six items on the Seder plate, the Beitzah, the Zroa, Karpus, Hazeret, Mar, haroset, and salt water, which is 14 items that are used at the Seder. And there are 14 separate ritual components of the Seder. Purim begins on the 14th of Adar. In the Megillus Rus, there were 14 advisors to King Apashverosh. The Jewish nation spent seven years conquering the land of Canaan, and then another seven years dividing up the land, 14. The Jews settled in Gilgal on the western shore of the Jordan where they set up the tabernacle which stayed there for 14 years while the Jews conquered and divided the land. Avram Avinu, Abraham our father, spent 14 years from the time he left Haran until the birth of Yitzchak. And when King Solomon dedicated the first temple, he celebrated with the people for 14 days. The first 14 days of the month, the moon is ascending. Rabbi Lezer said in the Gemara on, in Sukkah that a man is obligated to eat 14 meals in a Sukkah during Sukkot, one on each day and one on each night. The sages disagree. And they say there is no fixed number except that on the first night of the festival alone, one has to have a meal. 14 is the number that is imprinted on the Sukkot on each of the seven days of the holiday there were 14 year old lambs that were brought as sacrifices. The word zahav, gold, has a numerical value of 14. The word is also an allusion to the three times in the week that we read from the Torah. The first letter, Zion, numerical value of seven, stands for Shabbat. He, numerical value of five, we read the Torah also on Thursday. And Bet has numerical value of two, we also read it on Monday, 
three times in the week we do it. The name David has a is spelled Dalid, which is numerical value of four, Vav, numerical value of six, and another Dalid. Again, numerical value of four, four, six, and four. Numerical value, 14, alluding to the hand of God. Also Chabad, standing for Chokhmah, wisdom, Bina, understanding, and Dat, knowledge. Chet is eight, Bet is two, Dalit is four. Again, numerical value, 14. There are 14 mitzvot contained in the scrolls of our tefillin. In Misbar Cotton, as we mentioned before, that we break things down to the lowest number, 14 becomes 1 plus 4, which is 5. Altogether, we have five senses. This is the sense of sight, hearing, touch, and taste are four. And then one is the sense of smell. When Adamarishan, when first man ate from the Eitz Hadat, from the tree of knowledge, he tainted four senses, every one of the senses except for smell. No place does it say that he smelled the fruit. This may be why a sacrifice is called a reach nichoach, a sweet savor to God. The only pristine sense that is left that he did not taint was the sense of smell. In fact, the Zohar states that holiness enters into one's body through his nostrils, which may also be why when God created man, it says, V'yipak bi'apav, ruach that he blew into his nostrils the breath of life, not his mouth, his nostrils. So we see the Kedusha enters through the nostrils, again, the pristine sense that's still left. So we see that 14 is connected to the Torah, mitzvot, and also the coming of Mashiach. May he come quickly in our time. Thank you very much for coming. God bless and be well.